Hello, my name is Kay Collis and I am one of the tour leaders at St Peter's Cathedral. I'm going to tell you about the pews, the long wooden seats we sit on here. As a schoolgirl, many years ago, I visited the cathedral each week and sat on the wooden chairs with cane backs which were joined together in groups of three or four. If you sat on the end of the seat in one of these groups and wriggled, you could make all the seats vibrate, which was very amusing for 13-year-old girls, but earned disapproving stares from the teachers. In 1954, the Synod initiated an appeal in memory of Bishop Nutter Thomas, the fourth bishop of the diocese it was decided to install oak pews in the cathedral, designed by the cathedral architect, James Irwin. The first four were installed and blessed in 1960 with a historical plaque on the end, which reads, the reseating of the cathedral was begun in 1960 by the people of the diocese to the glory of God and in memory of Arthur Nutter Thomas, 4th Bishop of Adelaide, 1906-1940. People were invited to subscribe to the remaining seats as a memorial to a family, a saint, university, school or regiment, with the name of those remembered inscribed on the back of the pew. In addition, each pew has a wooden shield at each end, on which is painted a coat of arms. The drawings for these were prepared by the Right Reverend Thomas Reed, the bishop at the time, who was an expert in genealogy and heraldry. The coats of arms on the ends of the pew facing the side aisles relate to the person or group in whose memory the pew was given. On the pulpit side of the central aisle, the coats of arms represent the Diocese of the Anglican Church of Australia, whilst the coats of arms on the pews on the lectern side are those of the Anglican Church around the world. I am sitting on the pew in memory of the Sisters of the Church in St Peter's Girls' School. On one end is the school badge, and the coat of arms of the Diocese of Carpentaria faces the central aisle. When we sit in one of the cathedral memorial pews, it reminds us that we are remembering an individual or group associated with the cathedral, a member of the church in Australia, and part of the worldwide Anglican communion, and the whole company of God's family everywhere.